Okay everybody, I'm Leslie and this is Ben. He's going to be my assistant today. And we're going to be making banana pops. So I'm the dessert girl. So it's always been my aim to try and find something healthy. My boys are really lively. So we're avoiding refined sugar. Um, just trying to keep those energy levels down a little bit. They're a little bit jumpy. So um, I don't know if you, who's heard of banana pops before? Has anyone heard of that? No, oh, Jeremy. Jeremy likes them. Um, I googled it. So they're quite popular in America and traditionally they're a banana on a stick, on an ice block stick, and they're dipped in chocolate and covered in coconut. So today, if you've got your recipe, you'll be able to see that we're going to be using dates and carob. So dates are rich in um, calcium, um, magnesium, lots of good nutrients, and they're actually good at preventing cancer. So a lot better than the sugar and the chocolate. We're using carob instead of chocolate today, and that has no stimulants in it. Um, the chocolate that you buy from the supermarket, not only does it have the sugar, but it's also got a um, stimulant that's similar to caffeine. So that's the last things that, thing that my boys need. Um, I've got the carob chocolate recipe up there. We're not going to be making that one today. We're going to make that next week. We're going to do a, a really nice um, cheesecake, plant-based cheesecake. So we, today we're going to be using these little um, carob koalas. You get these at Common Sense Organics in Wellington. Um, they're quite expensive, the ones I've made for you to taste. I did make my own carob chocolate, which I've got some here as well. I didn't want to buy 50 of these to put in for all of you to try them. So we're going to be using these. So first of all, we're going to make some date butter. In the Revive cookbooks, which are over here, I don't know if you've heard of the Revive cookbooks. Um, Jeremy, who's got cafes in Auckland, and he's written all these books, he just needs a little bit of sweetener to most of his recipes, he will use something called date butter. Um, and that's basically just dates and water made into a thick paste. So we're going to start with our date butter. So this is just over a cup of dates. And I'm going to actually chop them. Just make sure there's no stones in them before you blend them all up. So I'll just give them a little mush. This recipe works really well in summer. If you um, live down south where it's freezing and you buy a packet of dates, they're actually really hard like bullets. So they don't blend up really well with your blender. And these are looking good. I always get told off at home for leaving a stone in the dates. Okay, Ben, I might get you to plug in my blender. Can you plug in that? just into the extension cord. Thank you. So I've got my cup of dates and I need to get some boiling water, which I might just actually skip around the corner and get it from this zip. So that's a quarter of a cup of boiling water. And, I mean, if it was quite cold, if it was winter, you'd need to let that sit for five minutes. But because they're really nice and soft dates, I'm just going to blend them up now with my hand blender. Scrape this down. Mm. 
Okay, so you could make some of this up and leave it in your fridge at home and every time you needed something sweet, put on toast maybe, or to pop into a, I don't know, something that you're cooking on the stove, a casserole or stew, you can use that. So it's really thick and it's really sweet and it's good for you, which is important. So Ben, you can help me stir. So we're going down now to the banana pops recipe. So we've got our one and a quarter cups of date butter right there. We're going to be adding half a cup of crunchy peanut butter. Is that going? We're going to add, I'm going to skip down to the carob koalas. Might just give these a bit of a, I might just break them up. Are they beers? Sorry, carob beers. This was the only carob chocolate I could find that didn't have lactose in it. So usually I use carob buttons to put in here, but they've got lactose, they've all got lactose in them. So this is a vegan carob beer. But much, much um, cost, more cost efficient to make your own carob chocolate. Yeah, big blocks have got lactose as well, yeah. I checked them all, thought surely there must be one that hasn't got lactose in it. Is it empty? No? It was empty. Oh. Okay, keep stirring. So these will take a little while to mount down. Careful with that bowl there. I think that might do. So roughly half a cup of carob chocolate. Teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, can I have a wee feel of that? Yeah. I probably should have added the um, carob koalas first after, before the peanut butter because it would have been nice and hot and they would have melted down. But it's not too bad. Just someone's going to get a pop with a big wad of carob chocolate on it. <laughs> yeah. I think Jeremy will want that, won't you, Jeremy? Yeah. All right, what we'll do, we'll put that aside. You need bananas. These are probably a touch too green, but they have to be firm, probably just going brown on the skin. So we'll get these open. So we'll chop that into thirds. And do you want to help me, Ben? Thread them onto a... These are actually coffee stirrers from Moore Wilson. Get those ready, I haven't got a plate. That's it? No, it's okay. We'll leave that. Let's just check this. So I would taste it at this stage to see if it's chocolatey enough. Just add some more chocolate, maybe some more peanut butter. I'd say this could probably do with a touch more water. So it might be a bit tricky. I'll just grab some to put that on the banana. It has to be spreadable, a bit like peanut butter. So what we'll do, these should be in the freezer for maybe two hours just to get them firmed up so it doesn't flop off the stick when you're trying to put on the dates. So pretend they've been in the freezer for a couple of hours. Get the date butter mix. I'll give them to you to put in the coconut bean. Grab the coconut butter. It's going to come off, but <laughs> cover all of it. You can um, do a nice thick layer, it'll be quite sweet. 
we'll keep, just keep it to a thin layer, just coating the banana. And then you dip it in the coconut. <laughs> Stick came out. Like that. And that's your banana pop. You can also use chopped peanuts if you want to cover it in that. So these go back in the freezer for two hours to get that coating really firm and then you can eat them. And the boys love them. Uh, I mean, when it comes to desserts, we're always saying, you know, just one piece, just one slice. But this one, you can say, no, have four or five, or, you know, they can have as many as they like. They're really healthy. Um, during this week, I've been trialling this recipe here. I've just had the bananas just like that in the freezer, and the boys have been eating them out of the freezer like that. So they've been enjoying little ice blocks. So that's something you can do as well. All right, thank you very much. Cool.